this episode, look at the highly prolific organised gang who stole over £3 million worth of high-end luxury cars. They were nicknamed the Gone in 60 Seconds gang after the film starring Nicolas Cage, where a car gang steals 50 high-end cars in three days. This gang had thieving luxury cars to a T. They had the same template as the 1987 film No Man's Land, where cars were stolen to order, and the ones not needed still had immense value in parts. These cars were cut up and sold. So let's get back to the gang. The successful gang consisted of eight car thieves using sophisticated software to break into keyless luxury vehicles worth a combined £3 million. The high tech thieves targeted more than 120 vehicles over a 12 month period and were locked up for a total of more than 46 years. Using key programming technology to steal vehicles, including Range Rovers, Mercedes and BMWs, the gang of seven men and one woman made their getaway cars look like minicabs, a clever plan to make them invisible. The cabs were completed with Transport for London private hire stickers to commit the thefts. Manjit Sandhu, the ringleader, led the gang who bought specialist equipment used by locksmiths to bypass the keyless car security systems in a matter of seconds. He and the books found the cars to break into, which were followed from shopping centres, or just spotted on the road, which were tailed to home locations. It was then arranged for Kuma Zaman, Mohammed Islam and Jeffrey Khan to drive them away. They also burgled car keys from the homes in the east and west of London and drove the owners' vehicles away from their driveways within seconds without them not noticing the thefts till the morning. The vehicles were then shipped in containers from Britain around the world to places including Africa and Eastern Europe. The police had no leads. The cars, as soon as they were stolen, had their plates changed. And when they arrived at Manchit Sadhu's lockup, the cars were never seen again. The highly organised way this gang proceeded meant a very lucrative criminal venture, with buyers already set up. But there is a saying, as Andrew Grove, former CEO of Intel, once said, success breeds complacency. Complacency breeds failure. Only the paranoid survive. So sure of the success, the gang made a slip, several to be more precise. The police scouring the streets, road cameras captured the stolen cars and the direction they went in, but lost them through roads that didn't have cameras on, as the gang followed Pacific route to avoid them. Police had intel on several gangs, but not this one. What hit this gang with a spotlight was, after a theft, one of the stolen cars stopped at a McDonald's. Sophia Mahmood was captured on CCTV driving a stolen car through McDonald's drive through after taking it from the owner's home and a CCTV image identified several members of the gang. In another theft soon after, some of the offenders stole a BMW after breaking into a house to get the key, but were unaware that the stolen car was fitted with a dash cam that captured images of them as they got in and out of the car. The police then started surveillance at the gang members' homes. The police raided the Blakesley Arms pub in Newham, East London, run by gang leader Manchit Sadhu's dad, finding car keys, a key programmer, blank keys and a lockpicking tool. The 32-year-old ringleader Manjit Sandhu even committed one offence. On the same day he received a suspended sentence for being involved in the theft of another car in an unrelated incident. Appearing alongside Manjit Sandhu, co-conspirator Mohammed Islam of Forest Gate was found guilty of conspiracy to commit burglary and conspiracy to steal, as he and Carnes of Romford were jailed for three years. Sophia Mahmood of Forest Gate was also found guilty of conspiracy to commit burglary and conspiracy to steal, as was Faisal Khan of Forest Gate, East London. Faisal Khan was sentenced to four years and six months with Humza Barwala of Forest Gate found guilty of conspiracy to commit burglary and handed an 18 month term. Sophia Mahmood was sentenced seven years and six months imprisonment along with a further four months to run consecutively 
for an unrelated charge of possession of drugs and mobile phones whilst on remand in prison. Cumran Zayman was locked up for four years, six months. Manjit Sandhu, the gang's ringleader, was handed a 12-year sentence. The Met's Organised Vehicle Crime Unit said this was an extremely prolific and well-organised criminal gang. They brought distress to many victims whose homes they broke into, who not only lost their vehicles, but in many cases were traumatised by the thought of someone having been in their house while they slept. Although the case involved over 120 offences, it is clear that this team were responsible for an even greater number of crimes. Almost all the houses that were burgled had UPVC doors that had not been double locked, allowing the offenders to gain entry very quickly using simple tools. I would urge all householders to ensure that their front door is correctly locked at night. This means not only lifting the handle on the UPVC door, but also using the key to lock it. Unless it is locked with the key, the door remains vulnerable to the method employed by the criminals in this case. Manjit Sandhu's girlfriend was jailed for 15 months for laundering profits for her lover's criminal fortune. Tessa Penover of Hornchurch, Essex was convicted of perverting the course of justice and transferring criminal property. Penover told the jury she had no idea her boyfriend was dodgy, saying when you're with someone you have been together with for so many years, you trust that person. He kept a lot from me, I know that now. She was on the dole at the time. Police found there was significant amounts of cash credited to her account. Tessa Penova, who was 25 years old, funneled up to £118,000 from her bank account over two years. The Gone in 60 Seconds gang was sentenced to 46 years in total, and the one thing you definitely don't want if you're a criminal is a nickname, and this gang had one of the best and probably the coolest ones. But with a name like that, it's not if, but when your card's going to get marked.